Hi, I'm Teniola Shoboale. Here's your Channel TV News recap for December the 1st, 2020. The Senate has asked President Mohamedou Buhari to remove these service chiefs and replace them with people with fresh ideas and solutions. The lawmakers also want the president to restructure and remodel the entire security architecture and investigate allegations of widespread corruption and leakages within the security architecture. They made this recommendation at Tuesday's plenary during a debate on national security sparked by the attack on rice farmers in Bono State, which left at least 40 dead. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives has passed a resolution to invite the President to brief the House on the true state of the security situation in the country. While the Speaker, Mr. Femi Bajabiamila, appealed that it would be inappropriate to invite the President to disclose the actions being taken, describing it as counterproductive, some members of the House were visibly opposed to his position. The lawmakers also called for the declaration of state of emergency on security matters in the country. Away from security, the Senate has confirmed Professor Mahmoud Yakubu as INEC chairman for a second and final term in office. Mr. Yakubu was first appointed INEC chairman in November 2015, taking over from Atahiru Jega, who supervised the 2015 general elections. His confirmation was sequel to his reappointment by the president for another five years after his tenure expired in October. On the international scene, Ugandan presidential candidate Robert Kyagulani, known as Bobby Wine, has suspended his campaigns following the injuring of members of his campaign team and damage to his car. The opposition candidate says bullets were fired at his car, puncturing the tyres and rendering it immobile. And to sports, Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton has tested positive for COVID-19 and will miss the upcoming Bahrain Grand Prix this weekend. Hamilton, who has already secured a record equal in seventh world title and won Sunday's Bahrain Grand Prix, was experiencing mild symptoms but was otherwise fit and well. The Bahrain Grand Prix takes place on December the 6th. And that's your news recap for today. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Teniola Shoboale. Thanks for watching.